Hi, and thanks again for tuning in to the Texas Flycaster video channel. This channel goes with www.texasflycaster.com. That's a website I created back in 2007. Loaded with information and photographs about travels and technicalities on fly fishing in Texas. Thanks for tuning in. Please leave a comment or subscribe. Hi guys and welcome to the Texas Fishing Report. It is September 8, 2017. My name is Shannon and it's a bittersweet time of course as we had a hurricane pass through between this report and the last report. It was very uh, very disheartening of course when we were having such a good really year, year and a half of, of fishing and fly fishing on the Texas Gulf Coast. Um, you can probably catch up with what status is for uh, different areas of the Texas Gulf Coast on Facebook. Unfortunately, most of the guides have given up on their own websites and unfortunately resorted to using Facebook to share information with the Facebook crowd, which limits the crowd to Facebook. So that's what they do. That's not what I do. My information is at www.texasflycaster.com so it's open to anybody with or without a Facebook account. Uh, definitely trying times for Texas and now Florida's got their own come up it's coming right at them uh, with that hurricane it's supposed to make landfall dead on Miami dead center on Sunday. Uh, tough deal all the way around. Um, you'll see that um, a couple of my reference points even canceled their reports uh, that I use for reference for this um, last weekend. So it's it's really a tough time. So let's skip that and go to go to what's going on locally. Here I'm in North Texas, north of Dallas and Fort Worth, and I fly fish for carp and guide for carp on Lake Ray Roberts here in North Texas. And Went out yesterday and saw plenty of carp. The weather's changed. It's insanely cool here now. Um, talking highs in the mid upper 80s. Very, very cool weather. And saw and caught some carp. And we're seeing lots of green trout on the flats too. If you don't know what a green trout is, just ask. But uh, they're in there following the carp around. And both types of fish are in their little fall form which is kind of deceptive in a way they've been deceived because it could get up to 100 degrees in it, again here in North Texas quite easily. But that's what's going on and, and within my vision range uh, the way the hurricane hit and the way the rain went you know Houston's offline most of the Texas coast above above uh, say Port O'Connor Port O'Connor and above, uh, Port Aransas and above are offline and the only place that would remain online and, and still with normal facilities, normal infrastructure and uh, potentially normal patterns is South Padre Island and the cut at Port Mansfield. Everything else, all bets are off. So it's, it's pretty discouraging. But uh, go ahead, I want to run the scroll what it's got on it I do not know yet because I haven't created it yet when I do this uh, but I'm gonna run the scroll for you check out your local conditions they are changing we're heading into fall which is a good thing come October I'll be uh, since I live so far north I live 30 miles from Oklahoma come October we should be reporting on some Oklahoma fly fishing actually south central and southeastern Oklahoma so look forward to that if you're in range, whether you're in East Texas or in North Central Texas, um, the fly fishing in Oklahoma at Beaver's Bend, Broken Bow, and uh, at the Blue River is, is it's entertaining, and I think you'll enjoy it. And if you, if you scroll back through the videos on the Texas Flycaster YouTube channel, you see some some decent. Uh, slabby actually uh, rainbow trout stalkers uh, being caught on Blue River I spent a lot of time there and uh, 
I really like that a lot. So we're going to see what Broken Bow is like this year because it's been really reconfigured since the floods two years ago. I haven't been there in at least two years, maybe three years. So I've got the itch to go do that. Thanks for watching. Be sure you check out www.texasflycaster.com. Contact me if you're a guide and you want to give me more information. If you're up and running on the coast, we sure need to know about it. Really need to know about it. And uh, if you're not up and running, we'd like to know about it too. See what we can do to help. Of course, we're trying to organize. Uh, I'm trying to gather information and see what I can do to help. So send me the, any information you've got on ways that the fly fishing community or the fishing community in general can help the Texas Gulf Coast. I believe that uh, this hurricane that we had, Hurricane Henry, is going to be small potatoes compared to this one that's, that's going after Florida. So I mean, it's looking really, really bad for Florida. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. Watch the scroll. Contact me uh, via email or any way you want. You know, the, the go-to spot is Texas Flycaster website. Thank you for tuning in to this Texas Flycaster presentation. Feel free to go to www.texasflycaster.com for more detailed information about the videos you find here on my channel.